All right, man. All right, man. Let's keep on going here. Let's keep on going. Let's drink some of this PC and let's keep on going. The Austin McMahon rivalry <sighs> Please sponsor me. Another video package. Gotta love it. All right. Multiple solutions. Fucking rip Sergeant Slaughter, dude. But transforming Mick Foley into his oh, he looks so weird. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Nice. A plan that no longer served him any purpose. Your services are no longer required. So they turned Mick uh, face like that, I guess? That dude love would have to go. A certain phenom. Voice that he was here all along and would not be moved. All right. Oh, okay. So they had uh, they had Undertaker like cut like a kind of like a shoot promo, right? I guess they included that in this game, in the story to it. All right, interesting. Ooh, okay. So I guess that's why we did all the bonus matches because Undertaker gets brought into the fold. Okay. Makes sense now. The Undertaker got what is rightfully his. All right, all right. You want to be the number one contender? Let's see what happens when you have to face your brother, Kane. Okay, I mean, he already has multiple times, but all right, Vince, you got it, brother. <laughs> all right, Vince. All right, Vince. Let's do this again. Uh... <laughs> See, now now this whole Undertaker and Kane thing is reminding me of current product because they took something that's that's works and instead of uh, being smart with it, they're just like, put him in a match, put him in a match, let's see it a million times in a week. Ooh, people won't get tired of it, but um, yeah, yeah, uh, as that's how it is, bro. Uh, so Raw is winning in the ratings at this point. Uh, in our story here, June 1st, 1998 on Raw, Kane versus Undertaker in Chicago, Illinois. It's loading, so I'm assuming it's going to switch to the chart again, or is it going to... No, it's staying here. Okay, perfect. The history. On the next night after Over the Edge, Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon showed his displeasure by publicly humiliating and firing McFoley for his failure to beat Austin. His departure would open the door for a new number one contender, and The Undertaker felt his time was well overdue. His demand for a title shot would come with a special stipulation from Mr. McMahon. Match objective, win the match. Historical bonus objective, perform a chokeslam, which I believe is my secondary finisher. Succeed at the WWE Attitude moment, good luck with that, and perform a tombstone pile driver and pin Undertaker in 10 seconds. We're playing this Kane! So then that would be my primary finisher, the uh, the choke slam then. We got Kane right here, uh, yeah, with Paul Bear, Warzone, nice. Uh, that nameplate's pretty interesting, with the barbed wire and shit. Uh, doesn't really remind... When I see barbed wire, I don't think raw. I think uh, ECW when I see barbed wire. So maybe that wasn't uh, the smartest choice for them. Was ECW as popular as it was in 1998? When when did ECW have its like highest peak and shit? Let me Google that while Kane's making his entrance here. When, uh, when was the original ECW run? Original ECW run. Um, yeah, let's see that. Let's see that. Um, so in 1992, and then it went fucking, it went blammo in 2001. So 98 probably would have been near the peak of it, right? So I mean, like, maybe they were just trying to garner something from them, uh, with that nameplate or something. Uh, if that was the actual Raw is War nameplate. But I personally, I don't like that for Raw, because that's not... So I don't think Raw when I see barbed wire. I think ECW when I, when I think barbed wire, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Or like No Way Out. Like, barbed wire is good for No Way Out, too. Because No Way Out has the cage connotation and all that shit, so like... But yeah, uh, we'll skip the rest of this. But his character model, honestly, for a game that came out in 2012, looks decent. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we're going to drink some more of this pasty because I don't know if I had to cut out the first time I plugged it in this episode uh, because of the video package. Maybe I would have had to cut out the video package. So, the 
Undertaker and his brother Kane. Please sponsor me. I'm just mashing uh, X to get some strikes in right now. Why are you trying to armbar me, you son of a bitch? You son of a bitch. You fuck. Come on, bro. Ooh, god damn, bro. Performer Chokeslam was the first one. That's all I need to know. Come on, sir. Oh, Austin's on commentary. I Okay, it told me I was too early or too late or something, and then I reversed it anyway. So I don't know what happened there, but thank you, Glitch, for saving me from something. Um, am I going to win this? No, it was a tie. Oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ooh, look at that, bruh. Ooh, look at that, bruh. The, my biggest complaint about this game, by the way, um, is that um, when you when you adjust the movesets in the game, um, they don't save into the Attitude Era mode, so I can't be doing German Suplas uh, in this mode. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's really pissing me off, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, because the German Supla is kind of my shtick, <laughs> and I, I really like the move, and uh, I just, I love uh, having a good time throwing German Suplas everywhere in every game with everybody, because I just like the move so much. Um, but yeah. Ooh, damn, he's done that same combination right there multiple times. Ooh, look at that. Paul Bearer, why do you keep getting on the fucking apron? I'm not instructing you to do shit, brother. Ooh, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Come on, bruh. Ooh, look at that reversal, baby. Look at that reversal, baby. Ooh, punch him. Ooh, let me get you with- Damn it, I was really hoping that'd be a German, but it was not. It was not. It was not a German. Big DDT. Come on, sir. Damn it, bruh. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, a boom. Come on, man, come on, man, come on, man. Boom, look at that. DDT, bruh. Ooh, come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, man. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Ooh, there it is, there it is. Boom, running around. I like, uh, I, I don't adapt my style of uh, playing the games to who I'm controlling. I always run around and just do moves. Because it's uh, it's 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 more simple and shit like that. I'm fucking playing as two big beefy boys. I'm just running around the whole match. Um, obviously, I don't have stamina on, so there's that. There it is, bitch. Come on, stomp on him. Stomp on him. Let's uh, let's 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 uh, let's uh, let's, uh there it is. All right, let me let me pick your ass up, which I rarely do because it gets reversed a lot. What is this gonna be? Boom! Power bomb. Okay, lots of people have the power bomb apparently. Uh, let's see what this is going to be. Boom! Nice little backbreaker right there. Let's pick you up again, Undertaker, and let's he reverse this one, I think. Oh no, he didn't. It was just directional. That's why. I hate the little kick up he does with his leg after it because it look, makes it look less impactful. If I'm being honest with you. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Kane does that. Kane does that. Kane in the 90s did that. Fucking THQ. Putting fucking random fucking... <laughs> random groggy moves on everybody. Oh, shit. Ooh, I got it. Look at that, bruh. Nice. I haven't even done the choke slam yet. Ooh, but I got the attitude moment. Oh, and it leads to a cutscene. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. I'm liking the red suit for him, though. Wait, was that Stone Cold or Vince on commentary? It must have been Vince because he just said I fired him. How did I confuse Vince for Stone Cold? What the fuck? Oh, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I was going to say, why is the sidewalk slam his finish? What? This is a reversal right here. No, it's not. No, it's not. He just choke slams him on the back of his goddamn fucking neck is what he does. Oh, my fucking word, bruh. My word, he fucking just choke slams him on the back of his neck. That is an insane fucking, um... That is an insane fucking uh, choke slam. The elevation and just the fucking way he plants him, like the bump on the end, my word. 
<coughs> Jeez, bro. My word, that choke slam's incredible. Holy shit, that choke slam is incredible. Wow. Okay, so we unlocked Paul Bear. Um, I'm still in awe at that choke slam because I don't think I'd seen it yet. Or maybe I just maybe he he hit it to me when I was facing him, and maybe I just didn't really pay attention. And I was just getting mad because I was getting my ass beat because that's what I do at these games. But that fucking choke slam, bro, especially to somebody as big as Undertaker, it looks so wonky because he just like he he picks him up and he's fucking he's standing straight up, and then next thing you know he's at like a forty five with his head to the ground, like fucking holy shit, bro. What an incredible choke slam! I'm, I'm, what a like Paul Bear getting him as a reward is great, but seeing that choke slam done on Undertaker is even better, bro. That shit was crazy, man. That was awesome.